Well, y'all, I am finally home from work, and it is about 2 a.m., and I was starving. My chicken salad and side salad uh, wasn't enough to hold me over through this long. Now, if I'd already been in bed asleep, maybe it would have been, but... I come home and decided I wanted some chicken tenders, so I made some chicken tenders in the air fryer, and then I made myself some spicy mustard, uh, which all I do is I take this cayenne pepper mustard from Aldi, um, and I add a couple packs of stevia to it and swirl it up, so then it's got that little bit of a sweetie heaty. I really love that. So I'm gonna have this. Um, I'm not a bit tired. I should be, but I'm not. So I'm going to have this and watch a few YouTube videos, catch up on y'all. Uh, I'm out. This is it. I just used the last of it, and Aldi's hasn't carried this in a while. So hopefully they'll get some back in because I absolutely love this mustard. And or if not, I'll have to look for it someplace else. Alrighty, guys. I'll talk to you later. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, and it was almost... Uh, two o'clock before I got home last night and then I was starving. So I cooked myself some chicken tenders and ate those. So by the time I actually got settled down, it was nearly four o'clock this morning and I just didn't rest. I just couldn't, I could not get my mind to set, calm down. And uh, I drifted out a couple times and would be right back wide awake within 15, 20 minutes. So I finally got up this morning at 7.30 and just called it done. I'm dragging butt. Um, I have to get ready and get back into work here in a few minutes. But I just wanted to check in, say good morning, <laughs> and I will talk to you all here in a while. It is time for lunch, and I am having oven-roasted chicken breast, Brussels sprouts, and mustard dipping sauce. Now to make the dipping sauce, I use equal parts of mustard and mayonnaise, and I am using the habanero mustard today to give it a little bit of spice, and then you mix it with a tablespoon of your sweetener of choice, and I'm using stevia. So good. Alrighty, I'll get back to you later. Well, peeps, here's dinner, which is a repeat of lunch. We got a six ounce chicken breast, a serving of Brussels sprouts, and sweet mustard. <laughs> Alrighty. Talk to you later. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. <laughs> and I have just not been with it here lately. I forgot my phone here in the mount yesterday when I went to work. So I was able, not able, <laughs> to record anything of my day for you. Um, plus, I didn't get off until later last night, so by the time I got home, if I would have recorded anything, edited, put it up, it would have been the middle of the night. So I was just like, eh, I'll just explain in the morning. But I had worked Friday night until very late. By the time I got home, it was almost 2 o'clock. I came home starving, so I cooked some chicken tenders. Uh, by the time I got settled, it was early morning. And then I just really shouldn't even say got settled because I never did. I was tossing and turning and finally just gave up on going to sleep. So when I got up yesterday morning, again, I was starving. So I had my lunch extremely early, which again was chicken and Brussels sprouts. And then right before I left for work, I had some more chicken and Brussels sprouts. So you're going to see a lot of redundancy, or you already did see a lot of redundancy. Um, my macros were horrible. Cannot find my dry erase marker to update my whiteboard, but of course I took screenshots of my fitness pal so you could see where I sat. I mean, like, horrible. Um, my fat is so low, and it has been for the last few days because I've been eating the boneless, skinless chicken breasts instead of a higher fatty meat. So my husband's going to the store right now to get us a beef roast. Uh, I need to get some more fat in my diet. I think that might be my problem. My fat's been too low, trying to eat the fat on my body instead of um, having such a higher fat macro. And I'm sorry, it just doesn't work for me. So I was trying to do the more higher protein type keto just to see what it did for me. I can't stand it. I, I need that fat. I need that fat to keep myself mentally balanced because I've been all over the place. 
my thinking has been horrible. It's like my brain has fallen off on the floor and I forgot to pick it up. It is not functioning. Um, I go from one task to another to another without completing anything. When I left work last night, I had had three tasks that I had started. I had started client funds that I didn't finish. I had started um, a checklist that I have to do that I didn't finish. And it's just like... What is wrong with me? I'll get started and I'll get bored with the task and I'll start daydreaming. So I'll move on to something else, hoping to refresh myself. And yeah, I never leave without finishing out what I'm working on. And last night when I finally left work, I just walked away and left stuff sitting on my desk and piled. So I remember that I still need to finish each of these areas. I wrote myself a little note. So yeah, I think my problem is <clears throat> I need to get the fats back up. Um, the lower fat, it just doesn't work for me. As you can tell, I can't even speak. So, uh, yeah, today's going to be a high fat day. Uh, definitely using that Madagascar vanilla ghee in my coffee. So I'm going to have a few bulletproof coffees today, butter coffee with whatever we want to call them. And then I'm going to, um, have the beef roast and I put a whole stick of butter in there and, uh, I'm just going to really get those fats. I'm going to work on getting the fats up. <clears throat> so, hopefully that'll help. So, I need to do something because I've just been out of brain all over the place. And, yeah, that's all I can contribute it to is trying to do the higher protein, moderate. It just doesn't work for me. I know I've got enough fat on my body, but I would rather lose it a little slower and have my fat a little higher in be on my game because right now I'm not. Alrighty y'all, I'm gonna let you go. <clears throat> I will talk to you tomorrow. You guys have a great day and blessings.